Hey, Directed Study, what's up? Mr. Hardy from his high-tech office down in the corner of my basement here. Hopefully, everybody out there is doing well and okay. Um, I wanted to take a minute since we're in a very different learning environment than we're used to. We kind of do our thing during the week. We have some chats. We get a couple things done. But we haven't had to really do much of anything electronically, and that, unfortunately, has changed because of the circumstance. So what I wanted to do is kind of just walk you through a few things here um, and kind of let you see what this is going to look like with the e-learning here. So you probably, oh, wrong button. This is what happens when we go live. Um, if you haven't been on the Harlem page, this coronavirus thing here, we'll click on that. Um, school e-learning plans. This will get you to everything you need for all your classes. And again, this will work whether we're on. Oh, I'm not supposed to do that either. Oh, gracious. Um, so the Harlem High School site. And then with me, okay, or with any of your classes, you know, you go to whatever department it happens to be. And find Mr. Hardy. Hopefully you've also found your geometry teacher here somewhere as well. Um, depending on what device you're using, on the phone, you can just push on this. On the computer or the netbook, you're probably going to have to hit control with that to be able to get where you need to go. Now, here's what I'm just going to tell you here, okay? Here's these e-learning sheets. They're going to be here for every single week that we do this. Just have to scroll down as we go. But what you'll notice with you guys is I want you to just focus on your core classes this week. Don't worry about me. Okay, I'm going to show you once we get to next week what things are going to look like. But here's the thing to save time for you, at least with my class. Here's my website. It was in the email I sent out yesterday, password. Once you get there, okay, again, I'll hit control to get there this way. Once you get there, you're going to have to type in a password. It's Harlem 2019. Um, I just didn't have to because I was just on it doing a video for my other classes as well. Um, I would just save it, okay, bookmark it so you don't have to go through the other stuff before. But once you get here, here is where you all are. Now, a couple of things that we're going to take note of. If you're on a computer or a netbook, just hover over directed side geometry. Don't click it right away. You're going to get something different. And you're going to get this every week we do. I didn't put one up for this week because I want you to focus on your core. If you did it through your phone, shoot, none of you know anything about using your phone, would you? What? So if you're on your phone instead, okay, it's going to look a little bit different. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to actually hit on menu on your phone, and you're going to have to scroll for a little while. I'm warning you. It's not that you're in the wrong place. You're going to have to scroll through my Algebra 2, and that's every week through the semester, so it's it's going to take a minute or two. And then my honors crew comes up, okay? And since you guys just got added in here this week, here you'll be down here at the bottom. And you're going to want to click on the week that's going on. So since our first actual week of doing stuff is going to be next week, I'd go ahead and click on that, but I'm going to do it in my full browser up here so you can see it a little bit easier. So directed study geometry. We're going to go a little different of order than we used to before. Sorry about that, but we're just trying to keep a couple things situated here. I'll try and sit so my face isn't getting taken out here. So Mondays are going to be our topic worksheet. I am going to be working on some different topics in looking at what your other teachers are doing, what you're going to be seeing in algebra coming up, things like that. Um, I'm not going to go crazy. I'm not going to put brand new stuff. It's always going to be something that's been reviewed somewhere. Um, and what I'll do is I'll do a short video of the topic. It'll be sort of like when we're in class. When we're in class, I'll do a few with you, and then I'll kind of let you loose. So I'll do that same thing here. Video, maybe 10 minutes, maybe 15, depending on the topic. Um, and so I'll have a worksheet here for you to work on, okay? and also a video lesson the topic. I also will be posting a key with just the answer, and when I want to see work, we'll talk about that in a minute, how you're going to get to raise your grade with this. Um, I want to see steps, okay? I can't see you. I can't see you through, through, my, through my webcam here to see if you're just using an app or something like that. That's why I want to see work. So if I get stuff back with just answers, that's, that's not going to get you anywhere. Also, I mentioned what I have right here, okay? If you have regular geometry questions, okay, from your assignments, topics, email me. 
I will be happy to get on here. If I can't answer it in an email for you, um, or if it's a question or two, I can send you know some things back and forth. I'll make a video or two of some things and just kind of keep those posted throughout the week here to kind of help you out with that as well. And some of you take advantage of that. Um, every other day, you're gonna get a work day, whether it's to work on the topic from the day before, working on your regular geometry stuff here, or asking me with some more questions where I may pop up with another video here and there, which again, I'll always post here. Um, you always could subscribe to me on YouTube. It's Hardy Math, H-A-R-T-Y. Um, but then you get everything, so I don't know if you'd want all that or not. Some of you, good prep for next year for Algebra 2, just saying. And then Wednesdays, not doing a topic, um, I'm going to answer questions. And if I haven't gotten questions from people, I may just come up with a quick topic on things that I'm seeing, sort of like our questions time, okay? Give you something to ponder about and just give you some encouragement because this is, this is a crazy time. And we all need a little encouragement now and then. So we'll, we'll try and get some of that as well each week. And then Thursday, I'll be back like Monday. I'm going to go ahead, get some examples done, post a video. I'll always try and have it posted a couple of days early so you can kind of look ahead if you need to with some things. And again, I'll keep answering the questions. And this is going to be our weekly schedule every week. A couple of topics, a um, couple of things to get into me and ship them off. Now, here is a good question that I've gotten some people already. Nobody in here. So, Hardy, if you're saying we can get some points, okay, and your grades can't go down, okay, um, if I want to get points from sheets so I can get my grade up because my grade wasn't quite where I wanted it to be when we left off, how can I do that? Download the worksheets when I put them up here, complete them. If you have a printer, that's the easiest way, print it, you know, get it out there, take pictures of it when you're done and use an attachment to just send them back to me at brian.hardy at, at harlem122.org. If I've had some people saying, I don't have a printer, what do I do? Okay. You know, I've got the topic worksheet. I see you did some examples. Okay, what would that look like for me? Here's what it's going to look like. Whether we like it or not, this is reality. Okay, so let's say, and this is not one that I am sending you. Okay, so let's say I sent you a probability sheet like this. And you're like, okay, I don't have a printer. What do I do? Maybe yours ends up looking something like this, okay, the probability of 32, well, it's only one number, Hardy, so it'd be one out of 90, because there's 90 numbers in here. And again, once you'd watch the preview, I'd go through some of these, you'd be like, okay. Um, but on a problem like number three, a multiple of five, I will post answers as well, okay? So you're looking at your answer, what I got, and you're like, I don't get what's going on. So maybe, you know, you had before, let me back up, because... So let's say my answer was right, 19 out of 90, because I wrote down every probability of five, and I'm like, well, 100 wouldn't work, because that says 99 up there. But then, and you'd send it to me and go, I don't get number three. Why do you have 18? I got 19. And I'd say, well, it says 10 to 99. Five isn't between 10 and 99, so it's only 18. So we can get a back and forth going this way on some things. Or if I see a few of you struggling with it, I might pop up on a video like this, who knows? Um, to kind of see how that goes. And again, take a picture, ship it back to me, okay? Just email it back to me. Um, if you run into some issues with this, just let me know. I'm here to work with you, okay? Down here in the in the dungeons, I can, I can find some ways to help with some stuff. But don't get so frustrated with it. The biggest thing right now is just to stay healthy, stay safe, try not to be stir crazy, okay? It's gonna be in the 70s next week, so we actually can get outside a little bit. Um, but but use good habits, do good things right now. You'll be back together with everybody soon enough. So just make some good plans. If you just want to email to say, hey, I'm up for that as well. So have a good rest of your day. Um, if you have some more questions, let me know. But otherwise, be on the site next week or shoot me some emails this week about geometry stuff or questions that you have. Hope you're having a super day. Have a good one.